G'day guys, Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines at one of our uh, testing booth segments and uh, what we do with the magazine, we love to get gear, we love to give it a great flogging and uh, after six months to a year come back to you and tell you what the results of, of the testing is. Um, now one of my pet items of gear that I've loved using over the year is, is lithium batteries and when you sit around a table and discuss this with other boaters, other tournament anglers, other fishermen, uh, they're always a, a point of contention. Everyone's like, lithium batteries are so expensive, they're all going to blow up, they're going to catch fire. Um, they always talk about the disadvantages of lithium batteries but what I love is I love the advantages of lithium batteries. Um, in the current Fishing Monthly Bass Boat, we used to run two 12 volt lead acid batteries run in series to give us 24 volts to run our electric trolling motors on the front of the boats. Um, those batteries together weighed nearly 80 kilograms and when you added the weight of an onboard charger you've got nearly 90 kilograms of mass in the back of your boat and it sits right in the back corner of your boat here. Um, I worked out early on that a couple of lithium batteries only weighs around a quarter of that weight. Indeed, the Torquedo battery that we've been testing for the last six months is a, a 24 volt fully integrated system which comes in at only 24 kilograms. And I don't have the charger in the boat, I have the charger out of the boat. So effectively, I've thrown out 60 kilos of weight from right in the back corner of my boat here. Um, come and have a look at the battery. Um, you'll be familiar with normal lead acid batteries but the Torquedo battery is actually one 24 volt cell here. Um, it's called the power 26 to 104, means that at 26 volts it gives you 104 um, relative amp hours of capacity, which is exactly the same as the capacity of my old full river batteries that I had in the boat here. Um, Cool things about the Torquedo battery are uh, firstly, lithium batteries have this um, great power curve. Uh, a lead acid battery will start at your uh, 24 to 25 volts and as you use it during the day, it'll just drop down and down and down. On the electric motor, that means you feel the motor sort of losing power through the day. The great thing about lithium is it keeps the voltage high until nearly the end of its uh, of cycle and you will have a fresh feeling electric motor all day. The 104 amp hour um, relative uh, capacity of this battery I couldn't run out of in three days of fishing and three days of fishing was as long as I was willing to fish on it without charging because I didn't want to run out halfway through a day. So I did three days of normal lure casting fishing with a, uh, a motor guide 24 volt 80 pound electric motor on the front. Didn't run out of power, didn't feel like I was running out of power. Um, the cool thing about having the batteries in one unit is that lithium batteries I've had before would run as two 12 volt ones that you had to put into series and they would then also need a, uh, a control box powered in there as well and of course their own separate charger, we'll get to the chargers pretty soon. But this unit here, it's, um, it mounts straight in the back of the bass boat, we've just had to build a little bit of a, a shelf to fit the width of it in the back of the boat. Um, it's IP67 waterproof, which means if I do have an accident and it, it all comes under, it's safe, it's protected, it won't get destroyed. Um, and I've strapped it in there with two strong webbing straps which keep it locked in place. Um, I can't fault the battery. Um, I love my lithium batteries, but I know that everyone sitting out there at the moment watching this is thinking, yeah, but how much do they cost? Well, we're filming this in uh, South East Queensland in Australia. The Torquedo batteries are bought in by uh, Power Equipment in Australia. They're the same people that do Yanmar inboard motors, so they know how to uh, run and distribute marine gear. These Torquedo batteries are available from Power Equipment dealers for a bit over $4,000. Now you think, oh look for under a grand, I can put together a kick-ass lead acid battery package. And you can, that's true. But you have those weight advantages. So for me, the economy sits, if I want to make my boat go faster and go better, I can either spend money upgrading my outboard motor or I can throw weight out of the back of my boat and get better performance. And for me, spending four to five grand on a lithium battery system is just as smart as spending more money on a new tuning props, new outboard, uh, any other performance enhancing things that you do. It might be a hydraulic jack plate or anything like that. Um, let's talk about the charger. Come and have a look at the charger we've got here. There are several chargers available for these Torquedo motors, but they come with their own proprietary chargers. Uh, what we've done with this one is we've just put an Anderson clip on it so that it can clip on and off the battery. So when we uh, want to charge it in, all I do is I'll put this on the deck, clip that in, um, it has an Australian adapter on it here, they do come with a, a European plug. 
plug that into the 240 volts and all of a sudden this will just pop up saying that it's charged. Typically after a day's fishing, after one day's fishing, it'll take me two to three hours and this is an equivalent of a 10 amp um, charger. So it puts 10 amps at uh, that 24 volts into the battery. If I get back from fishing, I plug it in, um, I rig my tackle. Normally just after I finish rigging my tackle or just after dinner, this is ready to pull off and put away for the night. So never do I have to have this thing running all night. Um, the only other bit of equipment you need is for this battery, because this battery is designed to plug and play with the cruise range of Torquedo electric motors. If you've got a Torquedo cruise, you plug the data inputs in, it talks with the motor, um, all of the smart features are enabled there. If you're not using it with the Torquedo motor, you're going to need to have one of these. This is a, uh, an on-off switch for the battery and it plugs into the data ports that we have here. This is where we plug the charger in, that's the Anderson plugs, but this here is the battery. So to turn the battery on, um, you need to push the button. That will light up uh, red, showing me that the, uh, the battery is turned on, and then you're ready to go. And then your electric motor um, attachments are here, and that cable runs through to the front of my electric. And that's as simple as it is. You need the charger, you need the battery, you need the on-off plug for it. Um, We've been using it, as I say, for the last months in the uh, in the fishing monthly stratus here and uh, impeccable battery. Don't want to give it back. Torquedo will be talking to you about uh, keeping this thing full time. Um, for more information, you can Google power equipment and Torquedo. It'll take you to the power equipment site and show you all of the products that they have available in Australia. Uh, but until next time, this is Steve Morgan checking out for uh, Fishing Monthly Tackle Junkie at our testing booth section. We've given it a flogging. We love it.